Okay, um, Aryan TV. Uh, do you think that YouTube will have a position, positive influence on your son? Same, similar kind of questions. If yeah. so, how? What, what positive influence do you think it's having on me and could help me? Just briefly. Well, again, I think, you know, a lot of things I've just said really is that you've talked to people um, around the world mm -hmm. through gaming and YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and that certainly makes it easier for you to uh, travel, I think, in the future and feel open to opportunities uh, in those places um, and to collaborate with people, which is, you know, I think the whole the whole point of this whole arena, whether it's gaming or music or the other outlets that you've got. So, you know, I think that uh, collaboration is the way forward and therefore you have to be able to communicate with people at all levels. Mm, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it is it is a positive influence. Uh, the downside is that um, you're always up here, uh, wrapped uh, in your technology. And, true. And uh, we've now got to give up another room because you've got so much of it. We haven't given up a room yet. Um, no, but we're going to have to, aren't we? You well, know, we really need. It, it depends. It's yeah. yeah. I'm gonna need space for it and kind of moving out of my bedroom a bit. But <laughs> like, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still unsure whether I'm gonna leave or it's gonna happen. Which one's gonna happen first? I still don't yeah, know. I know, but we, we, you know, I think even when you come back, there's gonna be so much kit here that you're gonna have to have a base, aren't you? We can quickly set up and work from. Well, so, yeah, I think even like if I do this more professionally, like all version of it, you know, freelance stuff. Then I think I'm gonna need an mm -hmm. office of some sort anyway. So. I know inevitable. I don't get to watch TV with you at night. You used to come down sometimes, 10 o'clock at night, and we used to I catch don't, up on a couple of things, yeah, and now I don't, I don't get to see you Yeah, you, YouTube's now my Ever. TV. I don't watch much TV. YouTube, no, um, but we used to uh, like iPlayer. to watch the odd um, thing so. funny thing. Yeah. yeah. We've got a similar sense of humour. So well, something your dad doesn't like, we'd sit and watch. Yeah. Which yeah. is always nice to share, you know. If something's funny, it's good to laugh together. Yeah. Because you want to, you know, yeah. explore it. But there you go. I'll have to make the time up to you at some point. <laughs> Um, okay, Pasha the Great HD. How many people do you think watch my videos? How often, how often do you watch YouTube videos? Um, I wouldn't even be on YouTube if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Um, and I've, I have used them for great effect um, because of, you know, suffering with back pain and then I've gone and explored something and then they've suggested other ones to me. And so I'm, I've, you know, I'm only very, 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 very touching the outskirts of what its capability it is yeah and i haven't the time at the moment to sit down and explore it no um, and perhaps i should give a bit more time to youtube instead of the tv maybe that's the way forward but uh by the time i'm ready to sit down i just flop in front of the tv at nine o'clock and let it do its thing <laughs> so um i think well i've forgotten the question what was it what do i think well how many people do you think watch my videos and how often well, do you watch I, youtube videos I watch yours more than anybody. Then on a Friday night at mealtime, we often, you come down, don't you, and you put things on and we explore, and I'm really impressed. You'll find new musicians and mm -hmm. we there's, like there's... to listen to new things and we, we discuss it as a family, which is great. So it's, again, it's bringing us together um, into your world a bit more, but also because you like such a, an array of music and, and um, funny YouTube take off yeah. of other people's music videos and stuff parodies um, they're called yes it parodies i was searching for the word <laughs> it's um you know it's again it's it's just a way of bringing people together i mm -hmm. think and uh we've enjoyed you know you've opened my mind to some fantastic musicians out there who are not recognized mainstream but are probably better than, than yeah. many there's, there's there already in recording contracts yeah it's there's so much on there it's an absolute no, pool of I don't watch much of your gaming, obviously, because, no, because you know, I don't interest. understand it. But then you were down just now at Christmas with your uncle, and um, he understood, and you know, you obviously having a conversation there. So it does. Age isn't a barrier. Interest, common interest. Yeah, yeah. It's all about finding common ground. And of course, he's he's uh, been in the forces, so yeah, you know, he's got more of an interest than than <laughs> I have. We were talking about scenarios and setups and stuff. Yeah, which doesn't mean anything to me. So sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, Alex C M Gaming said, uh, "What would you think if I made a living out of YouTube? So if I did this pretty much as my full-time job, made enough money, 
from it? What would you? Well, I'm sure all parents will say the same. First and foremost, I want you to be happy. And, you know, your dad and I have always worked in fields that we've enjoyed working and not for the money. Um, and we believe if you enjoy what you do, the money will come. Um, you know, there's no point being a millionaire if you're unhappy. Mm. And we're not rich, but we are comfortable compared to a lot of people. Um, and if you can give your kids, you know, that start, that's really what you strive for. Um, so I don't really mind how you make your money as long as you enjoy doing it uh, and get some kickback out of it because, you know, could be working till you're 80 these days. So good luck with that, son. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, early retirement. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, Get the fun started I, now. I can still remember when I was in my sort of 30s that people were talking about retiring when you get to 50, and I'm past that now, so it's like it was never going to be mine. And now no. they've moved the age when I was going to retire, they've moved it on, so I've got to work longer now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the Pionic Field Trip says, Do you think your son games too much? Well, every time we challenge him on that one, he reckons he hasn't been gaming, only in the last 10 minutes of us actually noticing that he's playing games, because he's always up here anyway, and we don't truly know what he's doing. And sometimes it's study, sometimes it's videoing work to put up on YouTube, sometimes it's just relaxing gaming. So we don't know. We have to be no. guided by him as to when he says, oh, I've only been doing it for 10 minutes. <laughs> And sometimes when we say, what time did you get to bed? Mm. We're not sure we get the uh, complete answer. So uh, as long as he's fit and healthy and enjoying it and he gets his exam results at the end of this year, then all good. What he does after that, the only thing we'd impress upon him is he doesn't really want to resit this year. You know, he doesn't enjoy college that much, so he really doesn't want to resit. And as long as he get those exams out the way, then a hey, job done. Move on. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, okay. Final question by Yosef Baker. Um, what effect do you think video games have on society? We kind of, kind of done this. Um, if there's any can add. Well, this can be a huge question again. It, yes, make, yeah, let's keep it short. Um, video games, like we just said, you know, if they're involving different age groups within a family, can bring people together yeah. and give them a common interest. Um, I dare say in a lot of cases, though, this is the way of social behaviour is at the moment, is that parents are working far too many hours instead of spending time with their kids. Probably when the console first comes in, they probably do sit down and have a game, particularly dad, you know. Uh, and then, you know, the kids become better than the dad. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. they don't want to play with them anymore. And then the kids have moved on to other games and probably find that children are sitting up in their rooms and the parents uh, don't really know what they're doing. And then you get the social breakdown. So I don't know. It's it's, it's a tough one. Uh, we've just been playing with the grandchildren uh, on the Wii, Wii, yeah, and we all joined in. And, and that's fun. The, yeah. the seven-year-old beat us all. <laughs> yeah, the seven-year-old beat us all. I'm not. I, I have to admit that. Now you've said that. Thanks. Uh, I got <laughs> yeah, beaten by then, a seven-year-old. But then there are games that we haven't played for ages. So you know, yeah, and he's been practicing. True. Um, so you know, at the minute it's great. All the family were joining in and having a good good laugh and that. But you know, give him another year or two, and I dare say, when I go yeah, down to visit, course. we'll be dragging him out of his bedroom screaming because he wants to play something on his own, and we're spoiling his fun by making him play with us oldies. Mm, so probably. yeah, I I don't know. It's it is a tough one, but it's here and it ain't going to go away. So I think. I think like I think really it's just the social balance that yeah. you know, we're all just work too hard and we don't know how to play together anymore and, and communicate. It's easier sometimes for a parent just to let it, you know, just oh, let absolutely. them go up in their room it's, than it yeah, is it's to a do. Yeah, babysitting you know. device, isn't it? Yeah, you know, they're occupied. They haven't got to worry about them. Yeah, and you know whether it's video games or the TV or some other such thing. It's yeah. I mean, you know, looking at the grandchildren, what's uh, Sophie's? Five and Jamie's seven, and they've both got. What are they called? DSs. DSs. <laughs> I'm hopeless, aren't I? They've both got DSs. They sit yeah. on the sofa, you know, and they're quiet. And if they haven't got those, the battery went dead. Nan, can I have your phone? Can I play Angry Birds? Yeah. 
you know. Yeah. And they're just constantly, if we're out, we're out for a meal, can I borrow your phone? Yeah. What games have you got? Yeah. You know, and that's what you do now. Instead of entertaining them, you know, you just give them a game. It's just but the way things are. the fear is that if they don't learn the technology, where will they be when they're ready to leave school? Will they have the social, I say social skills, but the, the technology skills required to get them a good job? Well, so it's a balance. They do say that um, students that have never played a video game are at a disadvantage to people that have. Mainly because a lot of the problem-solving skills and things like that that are involved. Right, yeah. Because problem-solving, storytelling, communicating, things like that. Do you work against the clock? Some, yeah. There's puzzles of them, you know. You know, some of them you've got to figure out. Some are open-world games you've got to figure out things yeah, yeah. and problems. And, and then, you so. know, you've got friends who play different types of games to you, which are far more... Um, challenging. Yeah. Mentally well, challenging. Well, I was going to say more, more combining knowledge. Yeah. Uh, world knowledge of yeah, events yeah, yeah. and perhaps history, historic events and stuff. Yeah. Depends um, on what you play, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did actually lie. There's another question that wasn't written down, but I remember someone mentioning it to me. It's by uh, Crazy Randoms, and he's asking uh, a popular question. Well, it's a hot topic. <laughs> You like the joke when you when you get the question. Um, how do you like your tea? I like mine. Literally, hot. if you could have it any way possible, <laughs> if you're telling someone to, how hot. to make it for you, like any preferences. You know I'm terrible with my tea. Yes, yes. Uh, I prefer it in a teapot always. I like it to brew. These people who put a tea bag in and just put hot water on it and then take the tea bag out are wasting their time. I just like the taste of tea, not hot water with a bit of brown colour floating on it. Um, and I like my semi-skim milk and no sugar. But it has to be hot. The most importantly, tea has to be hot. Teapot or not, does that bother you? Always teapot. Always teapot. In fact, when I met your dad, I refused to let him buy make me tea. And I, whenever we went out, I would never let anybody make me tea at a cafe or anything. I'd always have juice or something because I couldn't bear tea made any other way than the way I used to make it um, and he only ever used to make it in a cup <laughs> so I've, yeah. I've changed him round now and yeah, we yeah. have tea in teapots <laughs> yep. yep I hate tea made in a, in a cup there you go but I am getting a bit easier less yeah less picky less, less head up about it yeah you are yeah. you're doing I'll good I'll just go and make it afterwards I'll just say thank you very much and then go and tip it away and start again yeah <laughs> The last time you're asking me for tea, you know, if that's what you do. <laughs> no, you make it at the bottom, just leave it for me, don't you? Well, sometimes, depends how lazy I'm feeling. Right then, well, that is all the questions we have. Um, would you ever come back and do it again? Yeah, sure. If yeah. you want me, um, yeah, I don't charge much. <laughs> That sounds a bit wrong. Um, let's stop that there. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, if you've, this is in two parts, most likely. Um, don't forget to hit like on both of those parts. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Leave any comments, feedback. Uh, if you want to see my mum in the video again, maybe ideas, video ideas. If you don't want to do Q another Q&A, uh, leave them in the comment section. I'll read through every single one. But thank you for, thank you for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, you know, I asked the audience, the audience said yes, and we went well, for it. That's the, that's the way, way it goes. I asked for their feedback, and then they uh, imply that they like the idea, and that goes ahead. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you very, very soon. As always, drink tea and game on.